So here's a conundrum. Um, I don't know if anybody's found this yet, but vacuum can wreak havoc on your flow meters. Uh, we replace every drop in this section, and we have an overall output meter on this woods, and we what we wanted to do, we call these vaults. Uh, we have an electric releaser and a concrete vault, and that sits a little bit below grade so we can drop all the sap down into this electric releaser. Well, the goal was is to see how much more sap you know additional sap we can get per tap out of this section of the woods and uh, we didn't quite get to it so about halfway through the season we got our flow meter on there even got an electric uh, UPS backup the APC down there so in case power goes out we won't lose it this little digital flow meter well the vacuum is just uh, pulling it through and it's it's my own fault when I was down in here um, I should have put this check valve on the bottom of this with the flapper so gravity would pull it down and I wouldn't have um, have it uh, pulling the paddle wheel of this uh, meter so my test is completely invalid I need to go get a pipe wrench and take this apart stick it down there they come with a check valve but because of the way this thing was configured in there I just pulled the check valve off and stuck it over there and again I didn't want to get wet because this on the other end of this check valve there's six pumps running so while I was down this vault I decided just to unthread it off the pump leave it there and I should have put the check valve with the flapper right there and that way I wouldn't have any problems with vacuum uh, causing my inexpensive eBay flow meter which is in liters, and you cannot convert it back uh, to stop flowing. So my test is invalid, and now I need to uh, get this repaired. So I grabbed the 24-inch pipe wrench from the uh, the pump house over there. It's a bit overkill for these plastic uh, plastic parts, but uh, that's how that's how we roll as maple farmers. Um, it beats the full. You know, three quarters of a mile walk back to the to the warming shed in the muck. So I'm going to use this pipe wrench and this Leatherman, which has saved my rear end all maple season. I'm going to use the screwdriver to get those hose clamps off. But uh, yeah, let's give her a heck. So this job's done. 24 inch pipe wrench, Leatherman. We got the flapper check valve, the plastic check valve at the end of the pump now. Flapper is facing downward. That's important. So is the arrows for the flow. The pump in there will push out through that check valve. If the vacuum is sucking backwards, that uh, flapper should seat. And we'll get a more accurate number off of this. I'm a little out of breath. I had to jump out of this vault. Not as young as I used to be. So now I gotta get the meter reading off the main meter. We know our tap counts at each location. And with a little math, we should be able to calculate how much more sap we get at the end of the season from, we call it the red section. Isaac did a lot of work putting these drops in, over 700 of them, so we wanna see if there's a significant uh, difference in the output, and we should see it at the end of the season.